We just had some of the biggest news in the Linux realm I've seen thus far um, in, in probably the past decade, may, maybe of all time, and that is Red Hat is closed sourcing RHEL, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. That's kind of wild to me because there's a lot of offshoots. I've talked about Rocky in the past. There's Alma Linux, and those are essentially Red Hat Enterprise Linux one-to-one, -one, almost an exact clone of it, and they're used everywhere in business. Now, in desktop realm, we're not really talking about that because, honestly, desktop Linux doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of the world, but if you're a Windows user, you use a lot of things in, in our world today. A lot of them are built with RHEL systems. Uh, a good point of this, I've, I've built hundreds of asterisk boxes using uh, CentOS. <laughs> CentOS 7 back in the day, uh, in the, the mid to early 2010s, uh, a lot of government agencies would ship these boxes out so they could have emergency phone support uh, or phone systems wherever they went using asterisks. Uh, whole different thing, but the important part of this is is RHEL and its being open was a key part of that. And, and much like Rocky and Alma have continued that tradition of kind of copying RHEL, um, I don't know how they'll continue. Now, they did release this uh, on their Twitter, so they, they're still continuing development. I don't know how they're going to be able to copy Red Hat, uh, the actual official statement from Red Hat was that uh, all the source is going to be just in the CentOS stream one, which how, how this works, uh, imagine uh, Debian and Ubuntu, you know how they're a little bit different. Uh, downstream is Ubuntu over here and you have Debian, but Ubuntu does some things differently. You're like, hey man, why, why install Firefox and installs a snap? There's a lot of weird stuff that happens in Ubuntu that doesn't happen on Debian, right? because Debian's upstream. Well, how uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux works is really far upstream where they're like kind of messing around, kind of beta testing stuff. That's Fedora, right? That's where most of the desktop uh, cool hobbyists and stuff kind of live. And then downstream's a little bit CentOS stream, right? That's, that's downstream over here. It's a little more tried and true than a Fedora and it's more stable, has a little bit older packages. And then finally, all the way down here, is is going to be your red hat enterprise linux and that has the most stable packages the most secure it's great and that's all the way down here and everyone would copy in this guy because in business we want the most stable thing we don't care if the packages are a little bit old and that's what's happening is this is getting closed it's getting completely closed source from red hat and that means you might be thinking, well, why does that matter? CentOS and Fedora is still open source. Well, we don't care about those at all in business because a lot of times there's little patches or, or minor bug fixes that happen on Red Hat Enterprise Linux that happen downstream. They can't go back upstream and patch those into any of these other ones, CentOS stream or... Uh, Fedora. So those patches happen over here in, in the business realm. That's what we need to know from Red Hat. And that is now going to be closed. So what does this all mean? It means there's going to be probably tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of servers out there that now have to just figure out some kind of alternative. I don't know exactly what the install base of Alma, Rocky, uh, may maybe even some old CentOS 7 servers hanging out. They're kind of end of life now anyway, so you probably shouldn't have those. Um, but it, it definitely is a, a game changer in everything that's happening in, in the Linux business realm today. A and... I have to make this video just to kind of say, man, it's kind of alarming, but also not really that surprising to me when I think of it from a business point of view, because Red Hat, a lot of times in business, I, I, I'm guilty of this as an IT or a sysadmin where we might have used a CentOS or, or Rocky Linux if, if I did it today. And we might put like monitoring software or something that we don't really need to touch, a set it and forget it kind of thing. And then be like, ah, that's cool. We don't need to pay for uh, the RHEL subscription for that because it's, it's good and we can just use the freebie. And many businesses do this. So, uh, and that's not a really fault of the sysadmin a lot of times. A lot of times that's just budget restraints and we want something stable. So I, I don't fault the sysadmins here. It's, it's more from the back end and this is going to change things quite a bit. So I, I think at the end of the day, you're either going to move to a Red Hat Enterprise subscription or 
it's going to be the year of Debian <laughs> in servers. So Debian's usually not used that much in business. I mean, it is used, but uh, you really want something with a lot of support. And that's why you'd use a lot of these rail based stuff because there, there's always been support. And if things got really hairy, you could take, uh, you know, even a Rocky or Alma and, and convert that over to rail and get support for it uh, from Red Hatted engineers and programmers. So with it not being one to one bug anymore and it being closed source, that's not going to be able to happen. And that's probably rightfully so. So I, I don't fault them for that. Uh, but it's something that is just really crazy in the business realm right now. I'm curious to see what happens in the next week. Um, this affects a lot of different servers. And again, way bigger news than when CentOS got killed and it moved to CentOS Stream and it moved upstream from RHEL, no longer a one-to-one -one bug equivalent. That's why they call it CentOS Stream now and not like CentOS 8. <laughs> so a little history lesson there. And I'm just kind of blown away by this and it's gonna affect a lot of sysadmins lives right now there's gonna be a lot of if you're you're a linux admin and you do this professionally uh my heart goes out to you if you have any of these systems and we'll just have to wait and see what you know what's rocky and alma gonna do they already said they're gonna continue on with this uh red hat i think you know they're just trying to bring that back in and say hey we're not gonna support crap that we don't get paid for and I think that's really why they're doing it this way. Um, but it is a big deal. It is a big deal. Not to be a YouTube alarmist or any of that, because I don't make these types of videos, but this is a big effing deal. So if you're in the business realm, pay attention to this. It's uh, a game changer. And a lot of those, I think, um, if I had to break fix or just just thinking off the top of my head and you're one of those people that have Rocky or Alma, um, you might be needing to move to like a CentOS OS stream. And that's a weird upgrade path. I don't even know how that would be possible. If you're going to go that route again, we'll just have to wait and see how this goes. It's not going to break overnight. It's not like a Y2K thing. <laughs> You know, these, these are set it and forget it kind of systems, but it's something that will have to be acted on in this next year because you will no longer be getting security and bug fixes in a one-to-one -one rel equivalent. And that's going to be a big deal for, for many businesses. So kind of wild. I, I never thought I'd see the day Red Hat went closed source on us uh, for the base distro, but that looks like what's happened. Obviously, CentOS Stream and Fedora are still open source. They're still public, uh, publicly available, but they are uh, just, just know they are upstream, meaning there's things that get applied downstream to RHEL that only apply to RHEL, security and bug fixes that uh, are a little bit different. So it's not really a, a matter of stability or any of that. It's it's just, uh, it is downstream. And I don't think we'll ever see another RHEL one-to-one distro again. What a, what a wild time to be alive. Damn.